How you doing guys? This is Joss from Kingdom DTF. Welcome one more time to the channel. And uh, if this is your first time stopping by, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button because here we got knowledge about DTF printing, direct to film printing. So in today's video, I'm going to try to be as quick as possible explaining this. Uh, this is going to be only for your knowledge, for your information, okay? So powderless is a something that have been lately, um, you know, goes around in the DTF community and people start talking more and more about powderless. So if you can see in front of me, I got two designs, two shirts, one black, one gray, and the design doesn't look so good. And I'm going to explain how I did these ones, okay? So basically, these designs over here are powderless, okay? So it's a new technology that is coming out, but it's not ready yet according to the manufacturers. So this means that anything that is powderless at this moment, uh, you know, it has been making by a user or a company or companies. Uh, they're just testing like we did our testing. OK, so um, my own opinion is that when you press this without the powder, I mean, you can get a better feel, a better touch to to your hands because don't have that layer of powder on the back of the DTF transfer and it's going to be more smooth than actually the DTF. I'm going to be honest here. So this is my honest opinion. Um, I mean, DTF already soft to the touch, but this one feel a little bit more softer. But um, as you can see, it got cracks. So I'm going to explain why this happens, okay? Because if this happened, then that means that it's, it doesn't good. It doesn't matter how good it's going to look. It doesn't matter how soft it's going to be to the touch. But if it's cracked, it's not going to work, okay? You don't want to give your customer design that is a powderless, okay? And then the first watch, they have these results because then you're going to get burned up for that, okay? So what's going on? So uh, different people are talking um, or you can say company or companies about this, that they got uh, some type of products or powderless products and uh, they're making, you know, the press on the shirts, they're making that way. So I would hate for my followers or my customers and people in the DTF community to go ahead and purchase uh, this type of uh, products right now and then get these results, okay? Because then what is, what is happening is that you're buying something and it, it doesn't work 100%. That, that is what I want to say. It doesn't work 100%. So it needs to be maybe more testing in some way so we can say, okay, we got something powderless made by us or made by this company here in the US, okay? But according to the manufacturers overseas that are the ones that do the big printers, do a lot of inks and they know what they're doing, okay? Uh, the powderless ink, is not ready yet. So they're continue testing. This technology uh, was, you know, what uh, for the first time mentioned uh, maybe like a couple of years back, but they never put it on the market for people to get it because it's not ready and they continue doing the testing. And you need to, to think about if right now some people got, let's say, issues with maybe uh, clogs, okay? The powderless ink that they're making 
it's going to have something on the inks so it's going to have some type of glue in the inks and they need to get it perfect so when you use that ink you don't get clogs okay so that's my thinking i mean if i go to use a a, a uh, an ink i want that ink to be perfect and don't get clogged just using it because i'm not going to use the powder so i'm keeping yes i, I right now i i'm skipping one step that is don't put the powder don't use the powder don't melt the powder but if the ink is going to clog my print head it's not good either so that's why the real technology for powderless is not ready yet by so this is saying by the manufacturers okay now this what you see here like i said that is a powderless too uh and i have been testing by me and other companies testing also but i think to be honest we need to to get into this more in details to you know to have something more solid and said okay now this is going to be powderless and uh, not, you know, make a video announcing that. And then the other one is going to say, oh, I did something. Um, you know, my design is cracking. And, uh, okay. So that, that's what my, my thinking. Now, if you want to try it, if you want to try it yourself and see how that works, I can tell you that these shirts, they got a pre-treatment. And that is why some of these... Uh, design was able to hold to the shirt but it's not bonding completely because you can see here it's cracking so basically when i put uh i did my test i did not even watch this to be honest what i did was just put a little bit of water on the top and then it starts scratching and then the design start coming coming off so my guess is because this is DTF ink that is different from the DTG inks. Uh, this type of ink do not bond really well with the pretreatment. And that's why this start to happen. Okay. So if we go to offer you something, uh, we need to obviously test first before you know we put out there something and uh, the other companies should be doing that the same way um so you can have you know better results than these ones okay i just want to point that uh, you know like i said i don't want i don't want um i don't want you know uh you buying stuff and then it doesn't work but if you want to do it, you can do it. You can buy your stuff, you know, and you can try it and see how that works. Uh, if it works for you, perfect. Uh, if you start getting pressed on a shirt really good, that's going to be great for you. But just, you know, as a, as a recommendation, do your testing before you start selling powderless uh, designs uh, on a shirt. Press a bunch of these and then wash yourself the t-shirts and see if it's coming off or not if it don't come off then you may have something okay this is just a basic idea now the real technology is going to be available uh somewhere in the future but not now and also another point that i want to give you is that when you do powderless transfers it's going to benefit more the user that is pressing so basically it's got to be benefits you because you're printing at the moment and you're pressing at the moment if you want to sell your customer a powderless design you're not going to be able to do it and the reason is because if you're making the transfer uh remember you got the wet ink and the way that you complete your transfer your dtf transfer is basically uh, putting the powder and melting that powder, you know, creating all that transfer, all that bond, so you can ship out your DTF transfer to your customer. So if the transfer powderless is wet and there's nothing on the back, there's no way you can ship that to your customer. 
it's not going to be away. Believe me. The inks, if you let it dry and you try to ship that to your customer, it's going to get damaged. It doesn't matter. The inks, if it's get dry and then a little bit scratch, that transfer is not going to work for you. So don't even try to ship something and say to the customer, oh, this is a powderless uh, transfer because it's not going to work. Believe me. Many people know about this. You left your inks dry, but they get scratched a little bit and the design is ruined. So saying this, this means that the powderless process that if you want to try, is going to be more for you, more for you that you pre uh, print on the right spot and then you press on your t-shirt. Okay, so let me zoom this one a little bit because this one have been uh, around maybe uh, a couple of days since I did the press. So he, over here I put a water, I start scratching just with the finger and it came off. Uh, then you got all this wrinkle going on because um, the, the transfer is not bonding with the shirt, okay? It's not grabbing, it's not bonding to the garment. So that's why you got this so, so bad, so bad. So I got an idea to try another way to have powder less. So I'm going to try it myself and if it works, sure, I'm going to share that with you so you can do it. So it's, it's not going to be a secret or anything like that, okay? <laughs> um, but you know, apart from that, you know, the colors are coming good. A little bit dual because I put some water. Um, also, the stretchability is good too. Let me see if I can. I can try to pull this just a little bit. I mean, even even I know it's not bonding good to the shirt. I mean, if you stretch it, like I'm doing right now, you know, it's holding. So that's the. That's the advantages of the DTF inks that they are stretchable. And when you do your transfer the correct way with the powder right now, you're going to have amazing transfers, you know, durable transfers, uh, stretchable transfers. And we're using our inks uh, that you can get on our website. Um, and this one, this one was the, the <laughs> this one was the bad one. Uh, for some reason, did not bond the majority of all of this part here, the design, and just came off. But, you know, testing uh, is a good thing, guys. Uh, when you have an idea in your mind or you want to try something, you need to do testing. And when I start hearing about this powderless method here, I just went and see, you know, if I can replicate and I did at the first, to be honest. I mean, the first time was great, you know, was all the design there press, you know, super soft to the touch. But then you add water and it start coming off or I start cracking and you don't want that. So this is my opinion on this. Uh, this is not me trying to do something, okay? that is not ready yet for the market. That's my point of view. I'm just going to say that, that's my point of view. And again, I will hate to someone to go and uh, purchase something and doesn't work for you, okay? Now, if you want to try it, like there are, you know, mention that you can get something and you can try it yourself you can do it too, but let, 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 let's, let's think about here just for a moment and honest and honest. So if we go to replace the powder and we go to use another thing to replace the powder because you have to, to have some type of uh, adhesive. Okay. So this one can work with this, with the garment. If we're going to do that, and it's going to be some kind of, let's say, liquid, glue, 
or treatment or anything like that. That we need to do our shirts first and then press the DTF design. My question for you is, are we not going back to the way that DTG is done? When we eliminate completely the DTF powder and then we now need to take care of the shirt or protrude the shirt first so this can bound to the shirt it's not that DTG I'm just asking here because you know in my mind uh, that's the way DTG is done that you need to protrude okay so basically you are not uh, replacing any steps you know the idea of the powderless is not to do one step but they're mentioned that oh you're going to eliminate one step you're not going to use the powder okay but now i need to do the pretreatment of the shirt to make this uh, powderless to be able to work with that so that's another step so if we're going back to that so basically we're doing a DTF um, I don't know how you want to call it I mean let's call it DTF uh, DTF DTG hybrid let's say that because you're doing your pretreatment with your shirts so we're going we replacing mean we replacing the powder but we're going back to the pretreatment. Something that I'm going to point here. Something that a lot of people hate to do. Why? Because every time you pretreat a shirt, if you don't have a uh, an equipment like the machine that pretreat the shirts, uh, and you do it manually, like a lot of people do, you're not going to get uh, even uh, even spot unless you practice and practice and you know what you're doing. But if it's someone that is starting, they don't want to know. A beginner, you know, is going to be all over the place, okay? Uh, not also that. Uh, if you put to your shirt, you need to go to the 90 seconds. Uh, well, 90 seconds or almost two minutes to cure that pretreatment. Because you don't want your shirt wet also. So... Um, you eliminating one step that is the powder, but then doing the, the other step with the, with the pretreatment of the shirt. So basically you're not eliminating any steps. You're just replacing what you're using as an adhesive, but it's going to continue doing a step in that process. So uh, this process need to be doing you. I mean, in, in this case, if you go that route, you will need to protrude your shirts and then press the DTF transfers. And this time it's going to be you all the way because the point of having the powder, uh, you know, in the DTF process is that you can put your mini shaker machine or if you got a big one that do the 24 inches. You put the powder over there and you print and the roll is going to be, everything is going to be automatic for you. You know, the print is printing for you. The mini shaker is checking, putting the powder, checking the powder and curing the powder. So you're going to have at the end, you're going to have a complete uh, DTF transfer without touching almost anything. So if you go back to pre-treatment or do powderless this way that you need to put some type of adhesive liquid to your shirt. There's no machine for that. You need to do it yourself. You, uh, yes, the machine's there, the professional that costs $3,000 that you need to put the, the liquid. Uh, they, I mean, they put the liquid for you and you take the shirt, but anyway, you need to come out and cure that shirt first to be able to do it. So, uh, I know that a lot of people don't going to enter in this right now to try to do powderless because of that adhesive. Uh, you know, this means going back to DTG 
and a lot of people hate to do pre-treatment. Uh, myself, I don't like it either because, you know, sometimes we got good results, sometimes we, we did not. So uh, that's why a lot of people jump to DTF uh, in the first place because they don't like to do pre-treatment. They don't want to do pre-treatment and they uh, left DTG behind and jumped to the DTF because it's more easy. It's more easy to put, even manually, it's more easy to put the powder and cure the powder and just have the, the, the transfer and just send it to, to your customer, just uh, press it to yourself, okay? So that's my, uh, you can say my opinion, my penny on this right now. If you want to try, go ahead and do it. Um, do your testing, but this is what's my, this was my, our testing right now. And uh, yes, we like that it's more soft, but no, we don't like that it's peel the same day or the next day if you put some water. So right now we can say that this method is not, doesn't hold washability. And um, I go to recommend for powderless, just wait for the manufacturers to come out with a real technology, with a real printer or the real uh, ink that is ready, is prepared. Uh, for do powderless because then that one was made for that and was testing for that. Okay So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I mean, I don't want to make it longer uh, Just be careful um, Either what you're trying to do or what you're trying to purchase from um, I don't want you to get in some way um, a scam to, to be honest, so be careful with that, okay, guys. So, this is just guys from Kingdom DTF. So, until the next one, guys, keep printing.